Night falls on ancient Cambridge, cloaking its teeming, if not dreaming, spires, bringing peace and quiet contemplation to minds weary with the toil of learning. You really think so? Well, brother, think again. For tonight's the night of the Granter Ball. Always an occasion for uninhibited undergraduate hijinks. This time, it's a Jubilee Ball. For Granter, the university magazine is celebrating its 60th year. To get in, you've got to have an iron ticket. And the only scientific way for tearing metal in two being a blowtorch, an acetylene blowtorch it is. Granter's editor, Arthur Davidson, promised Cambridge a diamond jubilee night to remember for the next 60 years. And Cambridge probably will, if it lasts the night out. Hooray for hygiene. And a polite puff of DDT for every guest is one way to keep the party clean. Let's gate crash the big night of the Cambridge social year and join the fun. turmoil and tangos, behold the organizing committee unconcernedly dining in the center of the dance floor. Amidst the dancers, behold a visitor dropped in from a lesser known university in a nearby country. Just when feet begin to drag and the hands of the clock meet at midnight, there's a tonic for the crowd as a bubble bather becomes the bell of the ball. This spectacle spurs the revelers to renewed energy. The pianist is doing his best, but at the Granter Ball, anything and everything goes. Outside, dawn is gilding those stateless spires, but undergraduate Cambridge is painting the town a very different colour. Jubilee red. 